If you see this worm, exterminate it immediately. Why you ask? Because they could potentially be the biggest threat to our ecosystem. This is a hammerhead worm and we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. Now I know what you're thinking. What harm could this little hammerhead worm actually do? For starters, they're invasive, toxic, horrible for our ecosystem, and kind of immortal. So let's get into it. Let me formally introduce you to the hammerhead worm. They belong to the Bipallium family, which makes them flathead worms. And just about every flathead worm goes straight on my nothing to play with list. But these worms in specific are native to South Asia. These slimy invaders have made it all across the world thanks to pretty much one thing, plants. Well, it's not that simple. It's actually more of exotic plant trading where people will spend all kinds of money just to get some plant that I don't know looks looks cooler than the plants they have in their own country anyways what does plant trading have to do with these worms turns out the hammerhead worms like to stay in the soil of some of these plants that get traded which has helped these invasive worms spread all over the globe also this is a picture of like spice trades not plant trades but you get you get the point now here's actually where things get spicy these worms secrete a toxin that helps them ward off predators but also capture prey it's kind of like they have their own little superpowers but guess what their favorite prey is earthworms which seems natural but remember earthworms play a very vital role in our ecosystem they're kind of like nature's little gardeners aerating soil and breaking down organic matter earthworms are like the little engineers of our soil and i mean like all of our soil as earthworms maneuver through the soil they break it apart which helps with fertility and prevents flooding these worms are also a very important source of food for many native species there's been a decline of somewhere between 30 and 40 percent of all earthworms within the last century which is already hurtful enough to our ecosystem then you add in a bunch of invasive hammerhead worms that are spreading just to spite us and you know what you're left with bad soil quality which means less crops more flooding which means less crops a decrease in plant growth which means less crops and one less meal on the food chain which doesn't necessarily mean less crops but without earthworms the balance of our ecosystem would probably be completely upside down and if that's not enough you pretty much can't get rid of these worms they can regenerate their bodies to an extreme amount if you cut one of these into seven pieces you would just end up with seven hammerhead worms plus you can't really drown them because they do just fine underwater and you can't touch them because they're toxic but back to how they can regenerate stem cells are undifferentiated cells that have the potential to grow into various different cell types in an organism if you've ever watched pokemon it's kind of like having ditto as a cell it can turn into pretty much whatever it wants now i could go very deep into this and get into the different types of stem cells but i think we'll save that for another video the point is these hammerhead worms are smart enough to know that they can regenerate any of their body parts so much so that sometimes they actually eat themselves and if they have no problem eating themselves just imagine what they're doing to those poor little earthworms also I forgot I was supposed to be using this picture while I was talking about them regenerating, but I forgot. But now we're on to finding a solution to getting rid of these invasive worms. Luckily, I know exactly how to get rid of them. All you really need is three items, citrus oil, salt, and vinegar. Mix them up and boom, whack a worm. That's, that's what I should name it, huh? Whack a worm. I need to come out with my own anti <laughs> but seriously that's all you need is to just trap them in a little jar or something add those ingredients and then freeze them and you're good to go and there you have it i told you exactly how you exterminate them and then showed you how to exterminate them i will say though the hammerhead worm is not the best for our ecosystem they are pretty cool to look at from a distance that's all i have on the hammerhead worm today i really hope you guys enjoyed this episode and as always guys peace and love baby